Uh, good morning, everybody. This is Dave Marine. Um, doing another uh, video on my uh, YouTube channel, Math Notations Vids. Uh, this is a problem that I uh, posted on uh, Twitter uh, yesterday, uh, June 5th. Today is D-Day, June 6th. And um, I thought, now that the SATs are over, I would actually demonstrate uh, a method or two for uh, some of these problems. Uh, this will be available for students to uh, look at for other standardized assessments, final exams, and I guess the next time the uh, ACT and the SAT and, and other tests roll around in the fall. Uh, yesterday's problem that uh, I uh, tweeted <laughs> is uh, the graph of a quadratic function intersects the x-axis at these two values, negative 2 and 8, and it has a y-intercept of 4. What is the maximum value of f? This is a, uh, an, a more advanced Algebra 2 question. Uh, the SAT now includes Algebra 2 questions, but uh, this is on the border between SAT and Math 1C. Anyway, to draw a graph, and this is what a student should be doing rather than jumping into a formula for uh, quadratic functions or roots or whatever just um, sketch it we have an x-intercept of negative 2, a y-intercept of 8 uh, I should say another x-intercept of 8 and a y-intercept of 4 so we have some kind of a picture that looks like this <coughs> so we know that this is uh, the graph of a parabola opening downward, it's going to have some maximum value. And it's critical that students understand what is being asked for there. I'll get to that in a moment. Uh, this point has, of course, two coordinates. I'm going to draw the axis of symmetry. The x-coordinate of the axis of symmetry would be the mean of 8 and negative 2 which is 3. In fact, that is your axis of symmetry, x equals uh, 3, and that's an important idea for students to understand, that uh, symmetry implies that um, the axis of symmetry, or the x-coordinate of the vertex, is the average of the two x-intercepts. Anyway, so now we know that this point here is 3 comma something, and that's what we're being asked to find, the something, maximum value. Um, not going to use very fancy formulas here. We know that the uh, quadratic function can be written like this. If it has an x-intercept of negative 2, it has a factor of x plus 2. Very important concept in algebra factor theorem, the relationship between roots and factors, and uh, 8 implies a factor of x minus 8. We don't know what the leading coefficient a is, and this is the same a you get from the standard form of a quadratic function, ax squared plus bx plus c. If we multiply this out, you'll see the ax squared term. And we do know that a is negative because the parabola opens down, but we're not going to worry about that. That'll come out in the calculation. So uh, substituting in um, the uh, ordered pair, let's say 0, 4, we haven't used the y-intercept. So this is the point 0, 4. And that's the secret to all of these coordinate problems. A pair of coordinates becomes an x and a y. That is so critical. So y is replaced by 4, x is replaced by uh, 0, so we get 0 plus 2, 0 minus 8. That's negative 16a equals 4, so a equals negative 1 fourth. We're almost home now. To get the y-coordinate of the maximum point, the turning point, the vertex, whatever you want to call it, in other words, the maximum value of the function, 
We now go back to our equation. I'm not going to multiply it out. We know that y equals a times x plus 2 times x minus 8. No reason to FOIL that out distributing. We're going to substitute 3 for x, so y equals negative 1 fourth, 3 plus 2, 3 minus 8, which is negative 5, and there's our result, 25 fourths. Um, well, we're halfway through. I wanted to do uh, one other question, if uh, time permits. But again, 25 fourths is the maximum value. This is one of many methods. We could get into the quadratic formula relationship between some product of roots and various formulas for the axis of symmetry and the y-coordinate of the vertex. I'm not a big fan of those formulas because uh, quickly learned, quickly forgotten. You retain what makes sense, you retain what you can visualize, and you retain the most basic uh, concepts. And that's what I just did there. Uh, another problem that I tweeted the other day, I can't believe I'm using that verb, and we have about uh, three minutes to go here, uh, was this. X is greater than or equal to zero less than or equal to 3, and the question is for how many uh, values of x will 16 to the x be an integer? For how many values of x? <coughs> well, 16 is uh, 2 to the 4th. Um, so we want uh, 4 times x to equal k, where k is an integer. In other words, x is k over 4. So let's start out with 0, because 0 is one of the acceptable uh, values. Uh, I'm going to let k be 0, so x will be 0. So if k is 0, that implies x equals 0. I'm going to write it as 0 over 4. And now our solutions will come from all rational numbers of the form k over 4, where k is an integer, bounded by our restrictions. So we could have uh, 1 over 4. k is 1. 2 over 4. I'm not reducing it right now. 3 over 4. These are the possible values of x. 4 over 4. And of course I can go all the way up to 3, or 12 over 4. From 1 to 12, you have 12 possible values for x. Throw in 0. So from 0 to 12, we have 13 values for x. Are these the only values that are possible for x? Could we have any other value? Notice it did not specify that x is an integer. Uh, on the SAT, uh, it's understood that all variables represent uh, real numbers. So in this case, it turned out to be that x was rational. Uh, but could it be irrational? Could you raise 16 to the square root of 2 or pi and come out with an integer value? Well, uh, on an SAT, you wouldn't be thinking like that. In a math class for enrichment, you might ask those kinds of questions and discover that that is not possible for this question, but it's certainly worth a discussion. So as it turns out, x is uh, comes from the set of rational numbers of the form k over 4, where k runs from 0 to 12, and there are 13 values for x. Um, I put a um, survey up on my blog, Math Notations. Let me know if these videos have been helpful or useful. Rate them from excellent to uh, fair or average. And give me a sense of whether uh, you would like to see more of these in the future. And whether uh, the posts that I'm tweeting or the problems of the day that I'm tweeting are useful. I'm going to stop these after a couple more days as the school year is coming to an end. Thank you very much. and. Keep viewing.